Hi, my name is Nicole Renneke, and I'm an archaeological lab technician here at Colonial Williamsburg. Here in the archaeology lab, we actually do a lot of things. And when our artifacts come in from the field, they look a little dirty, like this bag here, if you can see that. They're all dirty and gross. And we want to be able to identify and analyze these artifacts, but we can't until we clean them. So most of our artifacts here, they can be cleaned with water and a toothbrush. Pretty silly, kind of like how you brush your teeth. But some of them, like our metal objects, like the one you see here, we can't do that because it'll actually cause it to fall apart faster. So what we do is we take it and put it under an x-ray machine, kind of like if you go to the doctor's office, and we can see what the artifact looks like underneath all of this corrosion. So right here, I have two pieces of a flintlock musket, and uh, they kind of look just like dirty Cheetos. Um, but once we put it under the x-ray machine, you can see this is what they look like. Um, so that looks a lot different than the pieces that I just showed you. And a flintlock musket kind of looks, uh, this is what, would be what the pieces would have looked like if they were not so dirty. And then um, once the artifacts are all clean, we need to sort them. So right next to me, I have a tray of sorted, nice and clean artifacts. And uh, just by looking at the artifacts, this helps us to understand you know, who was living there, what was around this area, and what were the people like. Um, so if you look on the tray, you see that we have some bone and some ceramic. Um, and that actually tells us a little bit about the people. Maybe they were eating close by. We also have a lot of architectural material, like the nails, the window glass. Um, some mortar and brick and tile. And that tells us there was probably a building nearby. Hello, my name is Emily Zimmerman and I'm one of the archeological lab technicians here at Colonial Williamsburg. Once artifacts go through the identification and sorting phase, they go through analysis. And this usually involves researching the items to see where they come from, what they're made of or how old they might be. But one of the other things we do is cross mending where we try to put broken pieces back together like a puzzle. This is really useful because we can learn what the item looked like before it broke, as well as learning more about the designs on certain ceramics. Another great part of analysis is taking pictures of artifacts and drawing them. This is great because in drawings, you can see details that you might not get in pictures. Um, I really wanted to convey the rough pebbly surface of the inside of these roofing tiles, as well as the very curvy shape that they have. But pictures are great too, because you can see exactly what the artifact looks like, the basic shape and the size and the colors of it. Pictures and drawings are also great ways to show people our discoveries from a distance, especially when things are too big or too fragile to move around. And the things that we can move around, we love to bring out to museums and our pop-up exhibits to have people see them in person. As you can see, a lot of things go into archeology, span everything from the field and the lab combined help to tell the story of people, places, and things of the past. And that's something we love doing here is telling those stories.